Hello, good morning children. As uh, uh, today is 9th of July and as yesterday I have explained uh, the difference between flood and drought, floods and droughts. The first point I had explained in the previous video but still once again we will recap it. Okay, what is that about the floods? Floods occur where there is a major overflow of water over river banks. What is that? Flood occur when? When there are major overflow where? Where we can find an overflow? If there is an overflow of water over the river banks, okay, or the dams, then we can say that there is the chance of flood and droughts. So what is uh, what is a drought means the shortage of water in an area due to less or no rainfall okay we can say means there are kind of two options we can say means either there is a shortage of water in the area or due to less or no rainfall we can say the rainfall might be in a less amount or there might no be any rainfall which is called a drought uh, what is that shortage of water in an area due to less or no rainfall is called a drought so that is the first difference that we can find with the floods as well as the drought okay now let's uh, see about the second point regarding the flood and the drought so what is that so let's uh, write it down first again first of all okay so Let's uh, write it down uh, regarding the second point of flood and the drought. Okay. I hope you understood the first point. Okay. So, this was flood. Let's go into the second point of the difference between flood and a drought so what is that floods usually when do floods occur so floods occur floods occur in rainfall okay in rainy season in rainy season when there is heavy rainfall when there is a heavy rainfall okay across the country or across the nation we can say okay across the country there is a second one for second point for flood and what is the second point for drought let's see the main reason for drought is that the absence of rainfall so drought is the absence of rainfall for many months for months or many years here so this is the the second point of the difference between flood and a drought so what is the Second point for flood, floods occur in rainy season when there is a heavy rainfall across the country. Okay, what is it for drought? Droughts, drought is the absence of rainfall for months or we can say or even for years. So this is a kind of two difference between that we have seen between flood as well as a drought. So that is the answer for The second question of let us try okay now what is the third one it is a fill in the blanks 
so i uh, i hope you might have understood i'll be sharing as i am always saying it i'll be sharing the answers okay so let's move for the discussion for the fill in the blanks of this letter strike section and we'll complete the discussion for book a textual question answers okay so let's get what's the third question it is fill in the blanks fill ups we can see as a short what is the first question over there let's see a drought is caused by a dash of water that is the first question so drought is caused by what as as a part of explanation we have already explained that drought means we cannot we find very scanty rainfall or we can say there is less amount of water so what is the answer for that what would be the answer the question is a drought is caused by a dash of water so we can say shortage of water that is the answer for what is the first answer shortage of water that is the first answer what is the second one what is the second question cloud burst can lead to what means as a part of explanation for floods we have seen all, already that floods uh, we have already seen that floods can be due to heavy rainfall caused and cloud burst okay so what what in the glossary part we have seen the meaning for cloud burst what is a cloud burst that is the sudden heavy rainfall the sudden rainfall that is occurred it is known as cloud burst okay so the so what is the second question cloud burst can lead to what floods so that is the answer for the second one cloud burst can lead to dash that is floods what is the third one what is the third question we should not switch on electrical appliances during dash what is that means as part of explanation for floods we have already seen that what are precautions we must take when the floods occur so what is that when floods occur we have to be cautious that we should not switch on the electrical appliances or we should not uh, put our hands on the all any of the electrical de devices so that we may never get any short circuit and it will really help us to be safe so it's really mandatory that we should switch off all the electrical appliances when we get the when we get the what what we can say yes when we can get the news for flood or we can say <clears throat> as a kind of precaution we can say so uh, we have to switch off all the electrical appliances when we can say that droughts uh, uh, during the uh, time of flood so flood is the answer for the third one so electrical appliances should be switched off when the floods occur that is the third one what is the fourth one the water conservation helps to prevent dash so as a part of explanation as i would say once again in droughts as we can i had already explained that in droughts what is the condition of drought yeah the rainfalls there is a scanty rainfall that we can observe in the time of drought and for us to survive for having and water is really the thing that saves our life so we have we must have water as a, a kind of reserve part so we have to keep the water reserve okay so for that what is the best possible way that we can have water at the time of even drought to save the water what we have to do we have to keep the water as as a reserve okay so that that activity that we keep the water reserve is known as what water conservation so uh, as it this topic is regarding of drought so we can say the answer for this fourth one is drought so what is the fourth question water conservation helps us to prevent what drops so the third answer is drought okay so this is the answer for the philips
the, on the latest try of page number 26. So I hope you all might have understood what uh, regarding the answers of as part of a discussion for today. Okay. So I have given the book A part of the textual discussion has been done. Now in the next lecture we have been moving forward for book B question answer part discussion. Okay. So if possible today itself we could do a little bit we just start for that book B. So please take your book B. Please take your book B for the discussion of question answers. Okay. So we are moving on for book B question answer discussion okay please uh, wait for a minute I'll get back Okay, so you have to uh, take your book B. Okay, this one. So in page number from page number nine, we are going to discuss what is the first one. What is the first question over in page number nine? What is the first question? Yeah, it is. Yeah, what is a volcano and how does a volcanic eruption takes place? That is the first question. So answer for this, uh, I would write, uh, like to give you the reference for this answer, where this answer you can find in the textbook, that is on book A. So in the book A, okay, page number 20, page number 20, that in the volcano eruption, in the Volcano eruption topic in the volcano eruption topic first two paragraphs first two paragraphs okay so the first question was what is a volcano? How does a volcano eruption takes place? So its answer we can find in book A that is on page number 20 volcano eruption the topic in the topic of volcano eruption the first two paragraph given in that topic is the answer for that means what is volcano and how does this volcano eruption takes place? So this is the answer for the first one okay so I will be sharing this, okay. And what is the uh, what is the second second question over given in this? Name a country which experiences frequent earthquakes. The second question is name the country countries name the or name a country which which experiences experiences frequent earthquakes okay that is the question the answer is what is the answer for that yeah this is Japan Japan India and Nepal Japan, India and 
Nepal are the country. Japan, India, and Nepal are the countries which experience the frequent earthquakes. Okay, so that is the answer for the second question in page number book B, page number nine. Okay, so that is uh, the part kind of part discussion for today, and tomorrow we'll continue with. Uh, the page number on book B, page number, we'll discuss about uh, more about in page number 10, third question, as well as uh, page number 13. Okay. Thank you.